Welcome back to the shop, guys. I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company, and this week we're gonna build a magnetic bottle cap opener. Now, I open my bottle caps with either my knife with leverage or lighter or whatever I can find. I really almost can open it with anything, but my wife, on the other hand, she always seems to be searching for a bottle cap opener. And, you know, we have them around the house. Uh, this one we got in San Diego. It's magnets. Sometimes it's on the fridge, sometimes it's not. This is kind of a rustic, cool one we got in the hill country, I think, forged from steel. And this is an old barkey. Now, every time she opens a, you know, a pop or a beer or something, it kind of just ends up where it's at. And she seems to always be searching for one. So I actually found this in an old junk drawer. It's a little bottle cap opener. And I remember a friend of mine gave this to me when we first moved into this house. And he said, screw this to your cabinet and you'll always have a place to open your beer. So I did, and every time I'd open it, it would fall to the ground. And it got so frustrating that I had to bend down and pick it up every time that I just took it off the cabinet. So what I want to do is design something where that doesn't fall to the ground. So let's get in the design zone and let's design it. Come on in. All right, so we are going to just basically take some scrap wood that we have around the shop here. Um, we're going to drill a hole with the Forstner bit in the back of these. Now then I have some rare earth magnets, one inch rare earth magnets and we'll drill the hole, and we'll come just as close to the front face of it. We won't go through, we'll leave some purchase there. And then we'll put the rare earth magnet in from behind, and then we will put our bottle cap opener, and hopefully when you open up the bottle, it falls down and sticks to that magnet. That's the, that's the plan. Um, and then we'll put some pre-attached screws so you could just screw it to a stud somewhere. Um, I like this cedar, it looks really rustic, it looks really functional and cool. Then I think we'll bump it up a notch with some other pieces of scrap wood and try to, you know, elevate the zone. So stick around, guys. I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company. Let's build something. Ta-da! So for this first one, we're just going to take a loose piece of 2x4 cedar and we're going to lop it off at about 9 inches. Then I'll grab my one inch Forstner bit and measure up about two inches and then find the center. Now I'll just hog it out, measuring down about one and three eighths of an inch to leave an eighth of an inch purchase on the front. And I'll grab the magnet and screw it in. I'll attach the bottle cap opener and then give it a test. Now I'm going to add a logo, my logo, to this, and I'm going to use a logo transfer bit on a wood burner. Check out my other videos for the logo transfers. This is a really fun way to customize a family crest or a birthday or whatever you'd like to put on there. And I'll just heat it up and test it. Now for the next one, I'm actually going to do three at a time. I'm going to measure up seven, nine, and eleven inches. And then I'm going to roughly just kind of draw a bottle on it the best I can. Then I'll screw them all together so that when I make my cut with the jigsaw, I'll actually be cutting three at one time. My bottle was kind of squiggly humped, so what I should have done is taken a piece of paper and folded it in half and drawn the bottle, then it had been symmetrical on both sides. So there is a little extra time here on the oscillating sander to get it to look kind of nice. But this is the fun part about freehanding stuff like this. You just kind of do what, what looks good and what feels good. I'm just going to sand the faces a little bit so that it's not rough cedar, so it'll be easier to do the next step, which is burn some logos or letters or family crest or something cool on there so people know what it is. It's just not a wooden bottle hanging on the wall. I'm going to grab my palm router. It always has a quarter inch roundover bit in it and it's just going to soften up the edges and make it little, look a little more pro. I'm 
I'll grab the Forstner bit again and hog out about 3 8 of an inch down, leaving an eighth of an inch on the front for my magnet. Now these magnets don't have a screw hole in, so we're going to use a five minute two part epoxy by JB Weld. Now I do need to mix this epoxy, so I'll just squirt it in there and give it a good mix. The bottle cap openers that I got on Amazon, there'll be a link below. Uh, they say open here on them, they're really cool, they're rustic metal, so I have some silver screws so that tops need to be painted black so that they match. So I'm just gonna drill some screws into a scrap piece of wood here and then spray paint the top black. I've had a lot of success with this and it just kind of is a small detail, but it makes a big difference. Now that they're dry, I'm just gonna tape the back just to make sure none of the epoxy is wet and slips out the back. And I'm gonna grab my wood burner and we're gonna have some fun. I'm just gonna think of some cool creative designs and just wood burn them in. These wood burners are cheap and they're fun. I've been able to customize a lot of my projects with them, so spend the money on it. It's fun to have in the shop. It opens up the creativity factor of times 10. Now you can see here I have a scrap piece of wood to test the heat of each letter so that I don't scorch the wood. Now that you've made it this far in the video, I hope you like cool crafty videos like this, so smash that subscribe button. We got new videos coming out for you every Tuesday night, guys, and leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear any challenges or any ideas you have for the shop. There you have it. That was a lot of fun. Let's put it into use here. I could use a cold IBC root beer. Let's see if it actually worked. Now this will be screwed to the wall. This is the open here. We're just gonna... <laughs> mm. Gotta love a good root beer on a hot day. So we can put any logo that we want on these. You know, we can put anything that we want. Austin, open here. Uh, this was going to say go Cowboys because I have a friend who's a Cowboys fan, but now he's just going to be a Cowboy. Go Cowboy. <laughs> and this guy, the easy, simple one, just got my logo on it. Very cool, very fun project to do. You know, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Check out some of my other videos if you like this kind of stuff. I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company, and we built something. Ta-da!